Okay, I want to talk about um, creating some more different kinds of MATLAB scripts here. Last time I talked a bit how to do a script, an M file script. Uh, I'm going to continue talking about that, and I'm going to talk about a particular kind of script that's a MATLAB function. There are several different ways of making functions in MATLAB. This is one of them. And um, so what I'm going to be talking about is out of uh, the material here, MATLAB Geeks website. In particular, I'm looking at MATLAB Geeks slash tutorial slash create scripts. So I'm right down here on the create scripts section. So this is going to be talking about how to do this MATLAB script. Now one of the things that they talk about here in the create scripts um, section down here is um, talk about how uh, you have to have your computer set up so that when you're looking on on when you when you reference a MATLAB script in a sequence of commands MATLAB commands your laptop or whatever you're using has to know where to find that script and it's represented by a path a regular function path whether in Windows or on the Mac where you're going down your folders uh, to find the folder that contains the script. And they talk about how you can might run into some problems if you don't have that path properly set. Um, I'm not going to deal with that right now. I'm going to assume that it's working properly. And then uh, I guess you're, uh, uh, you have to do some more research in, in it if for some reason you're running into a problem. So this is the script, the function that I want to compute. It's a square root function. And the function is going to generate an output for an input. And the outputs we're going to make to be the square root of whatever the input is. OK, so let me now, here's my MATLAB window. And I'm going to write the script. I begin, when I write a function, I'll begin just by telling it that it's going to be a function. So function, uh, and that I put in square brackets. It's often never quite clear when you're supposed to use square brackets and when you're supposed to use parentheses and when you're supposed to use curly brackets. Function out equals, and I'm going to type square root, U-A-R-E, underscore R-O-O-T. And this is going to be open and close parentheses, open parentheses in close parentheses. So this is going to be my script. Notice right up here I have a uh, path, users, my name, documents, MATLAB, and then in the folder MATLAB I'm going to be putting the script square root underscore uh, square underscore root dot m, but notice there's an asterisk. The asterisk means that it hasn't been saved yet. That, it's, that script hasn't been saved. So now I'm um, put in my um, my parentheses, which defines a statement in in MATLAB, and I'll say computes square root of n. So whatever the function n is, I'll write it like that. Whatever the value n is, it computes the square root. Now MATLAB already has a function that computes square root, so this actually is not doing anything that we can't do easier another way. Uh, so I'm going to have to say compute square root in. Now what I'm going to do is um, now there's this statement right here you see if n arg n is less than 1 or so if if n arg n whatever that is less than 1 if that's true, I'm going to output something I call an error. If that's true, I'm going to output the statement needs more data. So this would be needs more data. So if I haven't put an argument, a number, into n, there's nothing to compute the square root of, so it's going to give me an error message 
that says needs more data. And the if statement is going to have an end to it, end there. Just like for loops have to have an end, the if statement has an end. And then after the if statement, I'm going to type that the output OUT equals whatever the input variable was raised to the one half power. So raised to the 0 0.5 power. There we go. So this is my function square root. Now I'm going to save it. I don't save it, it won't run. So save, there we go, save. So it will save it as square root. Now it's possible to save the file and name the end file something different than the function. It's possible to do that. Generally, I don't recommend that. Okay? Now, when I want to execute this function, I can just go down here and I can say, um, just I can just type in S-Q-U-A-R-E underscore root and I'll put in 729, 729 there, and I hit return, and it computes the output, the square root of 729. Now notice here, if I put, I have, I, the output is appearing twice. So it's printing whatever this output variable is when it runs the script, because I don't have a semicolon there. So if I put a semicolon there, and now I do it again. Down here I type um, S-Q-U-A-R-E underscore underscore root. And now I type, let's say, 64. There, hit return. It only types once, the square root of 64. So uh, I deleted the redundant typing by putting the semicolon here in the script. Uh, so that's how we can set up a user-defined function here in, um, in MATLAB. I can, uh, I can also call functions from other scripts. Um, so, uh, for example, let's see if I can do that here. I don't quite haven't done this in a while because I usually define my functions in other ways. Let me put it here. Suppose right up here I type um, square root s s q u a r e underscore root and I put 729 729 parentheses um, so I'll print this as the output, not putting a semicolon there, run, and I'm getting an error. So yeah, I couldn't all function the script must be closed with an end. So I think, I don't know if this is what they want me to do here, end there. Now let's try it. Duplicate name, it doesn't like this because there's already a file name square root. Okay, I'm trying to do something I can't do here. So let me just take that out. So down here, if I type uh, square root, now how about this end? Is this end okay? Let's check that. S Q U A R E square R O T 81. There, hit return, and uh, and that works. Putting that end it doesn't give me a problem. It gives me the answer nine. So that's a uh, one simple way of. Uh, showing how we can generate user-defined functions um, in MATLAB. Now, uh, suppose that um, now that I want to uh, want to do something a little bit more elaborate, um, and uh, let's see, give you a sort of a preview on what, the, uh, what my next video might be about here. Suppose I generate uh, here I get sound so as I write a, a file um, that generates a sound in MATLAB okay that might be a fun thing to do so I'll try that on my next video or maybe the one after that so uh, that's all for now uh, so this is my 
example on how to do uh, functions, user-defined functions,